So in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a text portrait. So I'll be using this picture that I just got from Google and I had to upscale it first so it wasn't as pixelated. And I think I might make a video on how to do that soon. And I've got a quote to go with it. I want the quote to cover half of the picture. So to make it easier, I'm going to enable snapping. So I'm going to document, then snapping, then I'm turning on enable snapping. To add in the text, I'm going to the artistic text tool and I'm tapping on it twice to get the options to come up and I'm clicking on frame text and I'm making a box on the document. Then using the move tool, if I drag it out, this green line will come up which will snap the box at the exact halfway point. And then I'm dragging the other sides out because I want the box to be covering 50% of the screen. Then I can go back to the text tool and click on art text. And I'm just tapping in the box and then I'm pasting the quote into it. And to make the text bigger, I'm just going to drag my finger over it to highlight it all. And to increase the size, I'm dragging to the right over here. And I'm changing my font to go bold, which I'll leave a link for in the description. And I'm clicking this to get the font straight on the right. So once you're happy with your font and size, you can duplicate the picture that you're using by going to the move tool and clicking on that layer in the layer studio. And when you hold your finger on the screen for a second and let go, these options will come up and then just click duplicate. And then to get the picture inside the text, I need to drag this picture onto the text layer. So this blue line comes up and then let go. And so now if I hide the bottom layer, you can see the picture in the text. And then to actually bring the text out, I'm going to the rectangle tool and I'm just dragging across the document. And again, that green line will come up to show it's in the middle of the document. And I'm going to the color studio and I'm changing the color to black. And then I need to place the rectangle in between the two pictures. And to bring the text out a little bit more, you can add a small outline. So I'm going to my text layer in the layer studio. Then I'm going to the layer effects studio. And I'm clicking on outline and turning it on. I'm increasing the radius to one pixel and I'm changing the color to white. And that should hopefully make the text a bit easier to read. 